A place like Mountain Valley Station, very remote. There's no shops, there's no supermarkets. You've got to be resourceful. You've got to look after yourself. Now, I'm just going to do a little bit of a demonstration. A daily chore here at Mountain Valley is making a loaf of bush bread or damper, what we call in the bush damper. And it's a really heavy, solid loaf, and uh, you cook it in the coals, and one slice of damper usually does you all day with a bit of meat on it or a bit of golden syrup or jam. It's good for when you've got to do hard work. So, it's not rocket science. We just start off with self-raising flour. Just self-raising flour. And a bit of, bit of water. I just got from that spring at the back of me. Make a little, put a bit of water in there. And then you just, then you just work it. You just keep working it around working it around, no big deal. Some people put garlic in, some people put herbs in, some people even put a tin of beer in. But you don't have to do any of that. Just keep it original. Don't be too rough. We've got to eat this later. Just keep working that beautiful spring water into that self-raising flour. I'm already getting pretty excited just doing this. And she eventually takes shape. You just get it, when it's nice and smooth and it's not sticky, good consistency, she's ready to go in. Okay, just place it in the camp oven, cast iron camp oven. You can buy them pretty cheap, they last you a lifetime. So we put her in there, looks beautiful. I'm getting even more excited than I was five minutes ago. Okay, now, this is where the the hard bit comes. We're just going to cook it on the coals, but the coals have got to be just right. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a, a burnt damper on the outside and doughy on the inside, and that's not going to be too good for your reputation. So I've got some good coals here. We're just going to put some on the bottom of this little pit here. Okay. Just feel for a bit of... Yeah, she's pretty hot. That's about it. Whack the camp oven on. We put some around the sides. Try and get it even. Now that's plenty of coals. You don't want to, you don't want to blow it to smithereens. You just want it, that solid heat to work its way into the camp oven, work its way right through that damper. One bite and you're going to be going straight up. Heaven. Lastly, we put about a, a shovel full of coals on the lid so we get that nice heat all through the camp oven, nice and consistent. Yep, that's a nice consistent heat. We'll leave it for about half an hour. We'll come back and we'll top those coals up. Just another little sprinkly of, co sprinkly of coals around the camp oven on top. Then we'll give it another half hour and she should be close to being cooked. For blokes like me that drift around the bush, never really got much money, just cooking on the campfires is just one of those simple pleasures in life, making stuff like a damper in locations like this, Mountain Valley. Cattle walking around in the background, beautiful weather, sun shining, it doesn't get much better than that, I'll tell you. She's been in the coals now for about an hour and 15, so she should be done. We'll just lift the lid and have a look. Perfect. Out she comes. Very hot. Oh, yeah. We'll just slice a bit off. It's best eaten when it's hot now. Check this out. Oh, oh, beautiful. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. But there's one thing missing, and that's a bit of fresh beef to have with this beautiful damper. Did someone mention anything about beef? What kept you? <laughs> <laughs>